Welcome to Oceans of Possibility Summer Reading for the week of July 10th, 2022 for Preschool Age, Part 2. If I Were a Whale by Shelley Gill, illustrated by Eric Brooks. If I could be anything, do you know what I'd be? I'd be a whale in the deep blue sea. Scooping up fishes and flipping my tail, I'd be a minke or a beluga whale. Up in the Arctic with icebergs I'd play, where the sun never sets on long summer days. If I were a pilot whale, underwater I'd fly, searching for squid in a green seaweed sky. I might be a gray whale with barnacles on my chin, or a sleek slender fin whale, think how fast I'd swim. Narwhals have tusks, tusks might come in handy. Right whales sail with their tails, wouldn't that be dandy? If I were a blue whale, across oceans I'd call. But if I were a beaked whale, you wouldn't hear me at all. I might be an orca and swim with my pod. I'd hunt the deep blue sea from Perth to Cape Cod. If I were a humpback, I'd sing songs every day off the coast of Hawaii in Puaco Bay. I'd rest on the surface, rocking on the waves, and explore deep sea worlds of coral and caves. Spy hopping, twisting, and slapping my tail, I'd have fun every day if I were a whale. The end. We're gonna make a paper plate whale, and what you'll need for this let me move these aside as our craft to go kit, of course. And this includes a googly eye. You know how we love googly eyes. We have a paper plate that's cut not quite in half. This will be the front of the whale, and this will be the tail, like that. Um, we have a blue paper to make a tail and we have the top that blows forward it blows the um, for the blowhole that blows the water out and then what we'll need is a glue stick paint brush and some paint and I'm choosing to make a blue whale so the first thing I'm gonna do you can paint it first and let it dry, but I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the parts. So this is the head and everything. So we're gonna keep it this way. And then this is gonna be for the tail and I'm just gonna glue it to that. So I'm gonna put glue on, oops. The front side. So it sticks out. And when it's glued together, it'll look like this. And then I'm gonna put the tail on like this. So I'm gonna glue this onto the back side like that. So we gotta do the front side again. Remember, if you put too much glue on it, it's okay because it will dry clear. I'll glue like that. So there's the way my whale will look. The only other thing to do is put the blowhole on. A splash from the blowhole, I guess I should say. So we'll put a little bit of glue up here. it on the back. So that's all the gluing we'll do for now. We'll save the eye till the end. Oops, I'm gonna hold that for a minute. Okay, so we'll flip it over. It's all glued on. 
gonna shut my glue stick for now. Then we're just gonna paint the whale. So I got my blue paint and my paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint right on it. It looks like I'm gonna have to glue my blowhole back on. It's gonna be hard to stick on. But we'll get this nice and coated with paint. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here's my whale so far. Here's the top and the tail. It's a nice big blue whale. And the only other thing I have to do is glue on the eye. And now this is still wet, but actually the wet paint might help to hold the eye on too. So I'm just gonna take and stick a bunch of glue on the back of the eye. And then I'm just gonna stick it on the whale. And that's about it. Now if you want, when it's dry, you can draw like a mouth on it or something if you'd like. But I kind of like him like this. So this is what he looks like swimming through the water. Whoa! Big blue whale. Now if you don't like the tail this long, you can always cut it or before you glue it on or glue it further back. That's up to you. But a little wet but here he is and that's it